Oh, what happened? Bienvenidos, everybody. There we go. Happy Cinco de Mayo. You got the mana pumping? I don't know if you can hear that or not. Mana. Felicidades. Viva la Mexico. Cinco de Mayo show. The manufactured home show, everybody. Welcome. It's going to be a big day today on the webcast for a lot of different reasons. Thank you so much, mana. Let me close that off and get right to it this morning. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. It's 9 a.m. here in Phoenix. Welcome to the Manufactured Home Show. Uh, once again, and every day, sponsored by ManufacturedHomeMart.com. Of course, what were we thinking? The premier online store for manufactured housing. And let me right away announce uh, a special thanks and welcome to StarTex Home, StarTex Homes of Texas. Uh, they are our newest member. And I want all the good folks to know that you are active on the site right now. It's looking great. And I also went to the liberty of fixing your link. Uh, so it would go to your website. So that's done as well. Welcome StarTex Homes. Thank you so much. And uh, their website, let's give them a couple of quick plugs. They certainly deserve it for joining the site. Uh, StarTexHomesOfTexas.com is their website. And uh, let's give out their phone number too, 254 i I'm sorry, 254-799-2201, StarTex Homes of Texas. Way to go. We love you. Welcome. Um, from what I understand, they do new and used manufactured homes. I think they're, from what I gather, their main thrust is definitely the new manufactured homes. And I also want to say props to them because they have a very nice and thorough website. And, uh, yeah, I see they're offering homes from Cavco and Champion, part of the Texas Department of Housing and Community Manufactured Home, Manufactured Housing Division over there. Part of the Texas Manufactured Housing. Yeah, these guys are for real. I definitely uh, have known of StarTex Homes for quite a while. And uh, these guys are a reputable, reputable outfit, great retailer in Texas. And so I welcome them once again. Now, let, that's a perfect segue to the manufactured home news. I'm going to do things a little bit in reverse today. I'm going to go right to headlines for manufactured housing news. This ties in because I'm reading from MHMSM.com this morning, Texas manufactured and received the most manufactured homes. And this is about the month of March. Let me read you this quick article. And what this says is the Manufactured Housing Global Network, which is a different source, but a good source as well, has issued manufactured housing produ production statistics for March 2011. Of the 4,035 homes produced nationwide, 1,884 were single sections and 2,151 were multi-sections. Texas was the top producer with 893 total houses. Followed by Alabama with 621, Tennessee 583, Indiana 4th, 265 homes. So Texas far and away the top producer. But get this when it comes to, to this here. Texas also, they received the most homes at 700, followed by Louisiana with 366. So Texas um, almost doubled up the closest competition in terms of manufactured homes received. So uh, once again, I always say don't mess with Texas. They are obviously number one. And uh, all the more reason to welcome StarTex into the family at manufacturedhomemart.com, an excellent retailer over there. And uh, certainly we hope to, to help them increase their sales and get things kicked up even more in Texas. I think that's fantastic. 4,035 homes produced in March. That's according to the Manufactured Housing Global Network. And thanks for that breaking news. I didn't even see that on MHI. la dee da So <laughs> that's it for manufactured housing, at least uh, for this portion. Uh, once again, um, I want everybody to know that we're, we're sort of in celebration mode. In case you haven't noticed, you know, Big fanfare around here. No, we are celebrating our year anniversary for ManufacturedHomeMart.com. And I'm going to go ahead and share with the people who see this webcast to get you in on the special offer that I created. I decided that during the month of May, 
in celebration of our first year anniversary. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> I was going to. I am offering to all professionals in the manufactured housing industry 60 free days on manufacturedhomemark.com. This is only during the month of May. So today is Cinco de Mayo, May 5th. You got till May 31st to take advantage of that. I will. Um, StarTex has already done it, which props to them. Um, and everybody is welcome on this offer. I sent out a mass email to people that I had their emails. But uh, right now, whoever gets this word on the webcast, uh, month of May 2011, celebrating our one-year anniversary, it's free for 60 days. Give us a try. My belief is, is that this, hopefully this will sort of help to springboard things. There's a lot of efforts going on. And I, I definitely can understand skepticism about a business or website that is particularly young like we are. But let me just say that uh, the webcast, amongst other things, set us apart and um, uh, we, we will begin to gain market share as we bring on fine fine businesses like StarTex Homes. And there's tons and tons of communities. I know people are shy, and I do understand. Um, but as I mentioned to a gentleman who sent me an email this, uh, this morning, or perhaps it was yesterday, everybody does start somewhere. You don't start at the top, unless you're Donald Trump or something, that somebody already handed you millions up front. I'm not that guy. I certainly am the, the, the uh, the one that has to put everything together from the bottom up. So we're in year one. Things are advancing. I'm very proud of what we've done so far and very excited about where we're going. So if you want to get on board, um, just like StarTex Homes of Texas did, get lots of plugs like they're getting right now. And, you're, and honestly, they're getting them for free right now. I'll do it. This, this is what, you know, listen, I'm in the manufactured housing business, so uh, I want to see everybody getting ahead. I, I want to see us lose the stereotypes of the past, the stigmas. I want to see us advance. I would love to be part. Well, actually, I do feel like I am part of it. I'm a pioneer, folks. Come on. Who else is doing this type of thing, right? Manufacturedhomemart.com. Myself. We are going to advance the industry. And um, if you want to get, a, get in on it, give us a try, 60 days. Let me prove what we can do. OK, so enough of that. Let's go to the real headline. If you hear music in the background, it's not in your head. You're not crazy. It's the wife. General Motors, I, you know, this grabbed my eye on USA Today. You know, we got to get away from Bin Laden a little bit, although I, I am going to touch a little bit more on it. But um, USA Today is reporting General Motors posted a $3.2 billion profit in the first quarter. Its first full quarter as a public company. It completes a trifecta of strong reports by the Detroit Three. Ford posted a $2.6 billion profit. Chrysler said it earned $116 million, its first quarterly profit since, 2009, since its 2009 bankruptcy bailout. Well, look, I'm proud. Look, those are, those are our American car builders, okay? So um, I would encourage Americans to go this way. As a matter of fact, if, 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 if Ford's technology is brilliant, and I want to give a lot of props to Ford. And I just, the next pickup truck that I buy very well may be a Ford. Uh, my dad has one, and he, he swears by it. He loves it. And it is a nice truck. Big truck. But anyway, I, all I'm going to say here is, is, is good for you guys. Now, a truly American business, manufactured housing, time to rise up, people. It starts. We're, we're in it right now. It started a long time ago, but it's time to get serious. I'm, like I said a couple of days ago, I'm done messing around on the webcast. My goal is to be more frank with everyone. Enough of this holding back. Okay. Oh, I hope this video is set. I was going I am gonna switch to Bin Laden, and there's a debate now, of course, about well, was it legal? Was it 
was it a legal thing or was it the right thing that the United States did by going in there and killing bin Laden? Um, that's a heck of a question. Let me not give my opinion on that right now. Right now we're going to listen to this about the wives and children of bin Laden. Okay, let's listen to this from CNN.com. It should be said, if there's a commercial, there is. I'm going to talk over it. So let me set it up. It's basically conflicting reports. And CNN is reporting, you know, the daughter is saying something different. So here we go. Sorry. Well, as we said earlier, Pakistani officials say that one of Osama bin Laden's daughters is giving a different account of the raid that played out on Monday. She says she saw her father being shot and killed by U.S. forces on the first floor of the compound, not the third floor. She's said to be around 12 or 13 years old, one of eight to nine kids who are living at the compound. Tom Foreman tonight has more. Even as Navy SEALs descended upon bin Laden's compound, he was surrounded by family, including his youngest wife, Amal al-Sada, and their three children. She was from Yemen. He married her when she was just 17 after sending a $5,000 dowry to her family. Now 29, she is the woman the White House says came between the terrorist and the troops. Bin Laden's wife rushed the U.S. assaulter and was shot in the leg but not killed. According to GOTV, a Pakistani news source, this passport was found at the compound, but CNN cannot confirm if this is Amal. Another woman was killed in the same building, and CNN terrorism analyst Paul Cruikshank suspects she may have been another wife, the mother of one of bin Laden's grown sons. He also died in the assault. Well, over the years, bin Laden... Okay, lest we start to, you know, develop some sympathy for bin Laden and, and these people, let's remember uh, bin Laden is a terrorist, of probably the greatest known terrorist and the guy who pulled off 9-11. Let's not forget. So... When it comes to question whether or not we were within our right to go in there, my opinion is yes. Everybody's going to have their own opinion, and I do respect that. But let me tell you, those brave soldiers and all of the people involved in, in, in planning that, you have my salute, you have my respect, and I, and I support it. I know not everyone will agree, but... I think it sends a powerful message to terrorists. Don't screw with us. I hope it does, and I hope it sinks in. I really do, because I it's it's ridiculous uh, this this anti-American thing. I I'm going to totally shift gears in a moment because I, I want to get to something that really matters to you. But before that. And along with it, okay, this is from the MSNBC, and it says, secret stealth chopper in compound wreckage. It shows a piece of it on MSNBC.com. Images of the wreckage of the helicopter left behind at Osama bin Laden's compound by U.S. forces have prompted speculation that the chopper is a secret, highly modified version of the military's iconic Black Hawk. That made me think, you know what? I need to give a plug for my dad's company. Black Hawk Homes of Phoenix, Arizona. Dad, I love you. And Black Hawk rules. So everybody, the website for a great retailer in Arizona, Black Hawk Homes. The website is blackhawkhomes.net. There you go, Dad. Uh, it is Mother's Day, too. Let me not forget the mothers out there. Uh, happy Mother's Day. I love you, too, Mom. I don't think that she would see the webcast. Probably not. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> secret helicopter, and it's, it's pretty cool. It's saying that like, it has stealth capabilities and all this stuff, so I won't bore you. But if you're into that, on MSNBC, read about the secret chopper, like it's a stealth chopper, which is very, very cool for you know the, us weapons enthusiasts. Going towards the local news, nice segue. I'm getting so much better at these segues. Uh, on the front page of azcentral.com, our local news here in Arizona, it's talking about uh, gun laws. Arizona is tied for the worst in gun safety laws 
And uh, I just want to say, you know, I think that, uh, of course, it is our constitutional right to bear arms. But, but what I'm saying is, just really quickly, and I'm not going to bore people again, but th here's my little opinion about that. We got to make sure that when we're selling guns, we're selling them to people like there has to be a waiting period, for instance. You know, Gabrielle Giffords, our congresswoman in Tucson, was shot in the face, for God's sake, okay? And, and you could go back and talk about so many different stories. And the problem is, is it's too easy to get your hands. So, yeah. Uh, is it our constitutional right? Yes. But it's also a constitutional right to protect ourselves from the people that are insane. So, we should have tougher gun laws in Arizona. We should have tougher gun laws in general. Because... We've got too much problem with crazy people taking guns and shooting uh, innocent people dead. It's not right. Now, if, you're a, if you are a peace-loving person and you feel like arming yourself and you're a, a level-headed individual and you could pass, you know, by all means, you should get your gun within a few days. I'm just saying. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Still recovering, folks. More than one week, and I'm, I'm still recovering from this cold. I finally went to the doctor, and I got prescribed a Z-Pack and some cough medicine. So I should be back to normal. I'm feeling a little bit better. Man, we are crew. I bet we are into this webcast. Yes, we are. 16 minutes and 30 seconds. It's 9.30 a.m. here in beautiful Phoenix, Arizona. The birds are chirping. The sun is, is shining. And what I want to do now... Oh, by the way, I sort of rethought about the pictures about Bin Laden. It's better that they're not showing them. I really do think so because basically uh, that's gonna they're gonna it's gonna get used for the wrong purpose. So just just leave it alone. Like I said yesterday, I do believe that he's dead. Okay. Oh, dang it! I just erased. Okay, listen, I I I. I'm going to break into some inspirational um, reading here. This comes from the Daily Word, and I'm going to make it snappy, but this was beautiful. And um, I am a Christian, and I'm proud of it. Uh, everybody, of course, is free to believe as they wish, but since this is my show and not yours, <laughs> I get to read from this. And listen, just you can trust me on this, though. If you want to know the real secret and the real way to happiness and truth in life, it is through Jesus. Okay, enough said. Now, here, this will support that. Uh, for Cinco de Mayo, the theme is prayer, and the headline here is, In Communion with the Indwelling Christ, I Bring My Good into Manifestation. Now, get this. This is great. Listen carefully, seriously. In prayer, I am one with the Christ within. Prayer is a mental and spiritual attitude that lifts me up. I cease to believe that fear, disease, or past choices have any power over me. My thoughts turn to truth. My attention shifts from the world and, it's, uh, and, and is directed Christward. In prayer, I do not beseech God for blessings. I open to God and all that God is and offers. I consciously identify with the good that I seek bringing my good into manifestation. I am praying when I cease to see lack and limitation and realize the riches of the presence of Christ. I am praying when love instead of hate fills my heart. I am praying when I still any clamoring thoughts and feel the presence of the indwelling Christ. Man. Uh, the scripture at the bottom, for everyone who, excuse me, for everyone who asks, receives, and everyone who searches, finds. Matthew 7, 8. Powerful stuff this morning. And uh, I love you, Grandma, for, it, for turning me on to the daily word. It was, it was my grandma who um, read that every single morning. First thing she did, underline the passages and... Uh, it's been a powerful thing that I picked up uh, from her amongst the billions and billions of other blessings that she gave me. Okay, wow, that took it. That, that, <laughs> it took an emotional turn. Hey, listen, 
we're gonna we're gonna get going here. I've said way way too much. The show has carried on way way too long. Uh, I think I will do a show tomorrow on Friday unless I just am running out of steam. But if I don't get to it, once again, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. And, uh, uh, of course, uh, let's give the plug to our great sponsor, ManufacturedHomeMart.com, the premier online store for manufactured housing. Take advantage of my great offer for May. You can rewind the webcast if you don't know what I'm talking about. And once again, welcome to StarTex Homes of Texas. Uh, StarTexHomesOfTexas.com is our website. Welcome and thank you so much. And if you want to get involved and get plugs and get things going with your manufactured home business, here's where it's at, I'm telling you. The very future of advertising online for manufactured homes is right here, ManufacturedHomeMart.com. And we do it all here. And we do it live, <laughs> as Bill O'Reilly would say. All right, I'm out of here. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.